favorite one, kid with addicted to the season. Basically, we are getting ready to start our fall food plot. We done came in, mowed everything down as best we can, and um, got a little bit of weed, grass, killer mixture here. You know, a lot of people can't get, you know, sprayers in places and are or can't afford it these little backpack sprayers from roundup i think they're like 30 bucks um, they hold a pretty good amount of a mixture of whatever you're going to spray i think it's four gallons something like that of water um, i will tell you though they do get heavy and your arm from pumping uh, will start to hurt but you know they're the ideal thing for like we have way back in these woods here a whole nother food plot little small areas is all it is you know the size of your pickup truck and this is how we get in there and you know kill everything that's before we put it in and then what we do is, is a lot of times, you know, we'll call invite extreme, you know, and use their woodland forage for like inside the woods. It's really, really dummy proof and it grows good. Uh, out here, we're probably going to use a mixture of turnips and clover. Uh, for some reason, our deer here like, like the clover, but with invite extremes, clover grows to be you know half dollar pieces so let's get to work we'll spray all this area and we're going to stay away from our fruit trees that we put in this year and uh, get to killing some weeds season starts in about three weeks that should give it enough time to get growing decently but mid-september end of september this will be a good food plot not only to bring big bucks in but for those does and those spawns uh you know once the spots stop leaving they'll still follow the moms around but if you take out a mature doe with two or three fawns, those fawns will stay in your area. Or else, when the rut comes, they're going to be moving and they're going to follow that, that, that mother. Uh, so to keep deer in your area and watch them grow, you, and I hate to say it, but you've got to take out the, the mom doe. But only take that doe out after the spots are fully gone from your fawn. That means that they're weaned mature enough to survive on their own. And if you've got a property, you know, like this here, those fawns will stay in here. They will eat everything that you have. Uh, you can grow deer. This is, I want to say 15 or 18 acres. I can't, I can never remember how much it is. But we've got a lot of deer, pretty deer, 
and it's just not about putting food plots out and mineral licks and salt blocks and water and this and that for monster deer. Well, I think it ain't. It's about growing your herd. When you put in a food plot like this, you're gonna hit rocks and rocks and rocks. Pile your rocks up in three or four different spots, lay a few small ones down, and then once you get a big one, lay it over. That's gonna help your field mice, you know, your small animals. And what I've done is, all the trees that fall here, I'll come in and pile them up. If you're a big time rabbit hunter, your rabbits love little areas like this because they can hide. If a coyote's after them, they can hit these little nooks with these rocks and stuff and hide, and a coyote can't get to them, you know. It's all about making as much as possible out of what you got uh, to help all of your wildlife. Uh, but getting back, we double up basically on a quarter acre uh, with these turnips because they, one bag will do you, but why not throw two in, you know? But uh, we're gonna get to doing this and then we're gonna jump back on the tractor. We've got a little homemade rake out of a piece of fence. Um, we're gonna drag it, cover the seed, and end of September, let's see what happens, see how they grow. As you see, just a little track, you know, it's smoothest ground that we could find. It's all downhill, which kind of, you know, sucks when it rains. Um, small tractor, uh, nothing fancy. The reason being for a small one is I can get into places like this. Now this is a clover patch. Nothing crazy just a little patch of clover just in the middle of the hills from invite uh, three years ago we put this in all we do is bush hog it down we just bush hog this down last week uh, and we don't do nothing to them we don't spray no no kind of boost on it or nothing And as you see, how big the clovers are. And your deer is going to absolutely love this. I hope everybody kind of liked this little mini how to uh, put in a, a small food plot. We got it done. We got the one in the woods. We got the one up here on the hill. Uh, thanks to Invite Extreme wildlife systems uh, check them out like I've always said the people who products that we bring to you are great people down to earth um, they get you your stuff really really quick and uh, thanks for watching another little short bit from uh, addicted to the season end of August first show will come out and we have big uh, sponsors product uh, reviews on things we like about them, little things that we don't. You can check us out our Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, new website coming soon. It's going to be pretty badass. Uh, just remember, check us out. Addicted to the season. Thank you guys.